So, ma'am, you're saying basically it was Sachin Vaze's uh, involvement in this is that you know, obviously you're saying that he was an encounter specialist, which is why he has those 60 encounters, which he is incriminated with, because of which he, you know, for the longest time, for 16 years, he had no job. He was only reinstated last year for COVID duty. And at that time, he got lots of other cases as well. I want to ask you in all of this, in what you say is that suspected thing of trying to extort money from a well-known industrialist, how does how what do you make of this relationship between him and the owner of that Scorpio who was later found dead? What happened over there, do you think? Um, so uh, Sachin Vaze for me is only a foot soldier. And uh, the life taken is of a person who uh, had become a threat to him and to the whole conspiracy and who knew too much to ensure that the uh, that he doesn't spill the beans and does not uh, become uh, a liability for the whole plan he seems to have been dumped off but seems to be so because ultimately it is the investigation which will prove it. But why I asked for court investigation is because, see, uh, I can see lots of tussle between the state being uh, governed by three parties and having Mumbai police investigating this case. And at the center, having another separate uh, uh, BJP and NIA reporting to that. So I can see that uh, if I want an impartial professional investigation, I, be, I should be able to think beyond political lines, which may not be possible, considering the past history between the state and the center. Court monitored investigation would be in the interest of the citizens. Someone who is seen to be the mentor of Sachin Vaze is Pradeep Sharma. And both of them were in the roles are members of the Shiv Sena. And Pradeep Sharma is also another well-known encounter police officer and he has worked with you. You have directly worked with him. Can you tell us more about this dynamic duo Sachin Vaze, Pradeep Sharma and how do they operate? Uh, their information network is their asset. It's, they are absolutely fantastic when it comes to collection of information and they are very possessive and protective of their informants they are also loyal now loyal to whom they, like when i was joint commissioner i found once i had made it very clear to them that as long as i am in this seat we do not enter into any civil disputes and I respect human rights. I cannot stop encounters altogether. But my policy is this. Till your life is in danger, you will not open the uh, revolver. You will not open the weapon. And because before coming uh, to crime branch, I was already DCP of Mumbai for five years, well aware of their modus operandi. So I used to repeat uh, these instructions. And I must say, they did not disobey. Once they realize this is the policy of a joint commissioner, happily or unhappily, they would be with you. Uh, for example, one day, uh, one night during 2005, Pradeep Sharma got an information that there was uh, import of some weapons in Navasheva port. He brought his informant, he brought his panchas. When we went to Navasheva port at the middle of the night, I was surprised. In the gum, uh, barrels containing gum, we found about 37 uh, factory-made revolvers, pistols, and about 1,300 rounds ammunition. Now, this kind of information is available to very few officers who have very good informants. Uh, in uh, Marathi, they say, Amche informants la japun they, they are very protective about them. They are, uh, these officers are loyal, they are disciplined, they are daredevils, if not controlled. That boundary where law stops, where they can legally take action, 
that becomes uh, that gets blurred in their minds and then they get attracted towards money which builders film um, uh, personalities uh, industrialists are ready to offer then extortion protection money uh and this is the way they operate and another thing which i found um, in crime branch was that these encounter specialists have realized that they need very good documentation very good paperwork they always have officers who are good on paperwork with them so i feel that if used properly and in legal manner they are an asset and if you cannot you know they can go haywire they can uh, generate threat calls then provide protection which i feel is uh, the current case and a huge liability so so what you're saying ma'am because you mentioned how you gave out orders and at that time they were forced to kind of toe the line so would you say that it is justified that parminder singh you know the top police officer who's been transferred his transfer is justified because if this was ha- happening under his watch then he's definitely culpable no i am wondering i am also watching an api and a commissioner of police there are so many uh, ranks in between so i am wondering that uh, okay you susp- uh, he is arrested was he is arrested he is suspended and parambir is shifted uh, is the government giving uh, an understanding to the citizens that api was a reported directly to parambir to my mind no api reports directly to commissioner there are um, acps dcps additional cps joint cps and then cp so uh, it gives me uh, an impression that this is a very serious case where maybe the hierarchy has been jumped and um, many people in between the api and the commissioner were not aware of what was going on this is the impression which the government is giving by uh, shifting the commissioner and suspending an api were police officers always kind of political and now it's become much more acceptable to join political parties and show your affiliation soon after or is it a new phenomenon i would say from 1990s um this phenomena started and i will not um, hold one single party, party responsible all political parties interfere in police for their advantage when a new government um is formed media also shows but it's a common knowledge who will get the home department maximum fight is for who will get the home department because the minister who is in charge of home is also in charge of all the police stations all the police officers the fact that home portfolio is so popular shows that it's not an innocent political decision or political inclination it's a conscious effort by all political parties mind you not a single political party to have a hold on police stations one to threaten to browbeat uh, directly indirectly and also because of the huge corruption at the police station level to get a an fir registered is not an easy thing and uh, though i belong to this department i am sorry to say that our hafta system is not from the traffic constable you see on the road it goes up to the very top therefore both money and muscle are with police and therefore all the political parties to the total disadvantage of citizens are using police officers police men police man power no politician gets out of his house without two three uniformed or safari clad black cats around him it has also become a sign of prestige so our money our muscle our prestige is so dependent on the police that political parties are exploiting police police officers to the maximum